Hello, my friends. My name is Dakota, and welcome back to episode four of World Shaping, a Minecraft Survival Guide. Today, we're going to take a look at mining, but before we do that, I realized that I had I'd forgotten to include an important part uh, in our last episode, which is how we wanted to light up our wheat fields. In order to do that, we're going to go to each of these water blocks and just simply drop a fence in there. You can also use trapdoors for these, but I like fences because they actually uh, serve two purposes. Number one, uh, they, they'll prevent you from falling in. You can just walk straight over them, uh, but they're actually raised up slightly, which means that it'll be easy to see where they're at, and we're going to put a torch on each one, which will cause it to light up our field. Looks like a zombie has has wandered out and decided that they, they needed to uh, interfere with us lighting up our field. So we'll go ahead and plant one of these on each of these blocks. Now, I've actually hidden a water source block underneath this lower, uh, in, in the, underneath this lip here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and throw a torch there as well, just so that we have that. And you can see that the, the wheat field, I've tilled out a bit more, uh, but the wheat hasn't actually grown yet, and so we can't really plant more. Oh, a creeper has, has found us. That's uh, not good, and we threw our, our sword on accident. That's also not good. Go ahead and come on over here. One of the tricks with a creeper is that if they are in the water when they explode, which that one was not, of course, uh, if they're in the water when they explode, they won't actually do damage to the landscape. Fortunately, uh, he didn't destroy any land that we had crops planted in. He did, unfortunately, destroy a couple of crops. Go ahead and take the wheat seeds from those and, uh, and replant them. Those darn creepers. Let's go ahead and replant these seeds as well. All right. Now, the, the focus of this episode is actually on mining. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to show you guys a cool trick that I like to use when I first start mining. We did find some diamonds in a cave in the first episode. We'll definitely go back for those at some point. Uh, but for now, I want to show you guys uh, a cool trick I use whenever I start in a new world. This is something you can do in your house if you want. Uh, it does require a little bit of wood, uh, which we have plenty of, fortunately. What we're going to do is we're actually going to create a, a chest to store some of our stuff. The reason for that is that we don't want to be carrying all this stuff with us when we go mining. And in particular, when we use this strategy for mining, because it's, it's quite dangerous and, and there's a, a very good chance we'll die. But hopefully it'll get us uh, where we want to be and pay off fairly quickly. Uh, it looks like we need just a little bit more, more space. So we'll go ahead and make a second chest. That's just fine. Let's put it right there to expand that. Then we can go ahead and leave the rest of this. We'll go ahead and take our shovel. It's a stone shovel and it's about to break anyways. And then I think we'll actually go ahead and you know what? We have enough iron. We'll, we'll use an iron pick for this. We can always make another one if we die. Uh, one thing I do want to do is take off all of my equipment because we are, are very likely going to suffer a, a terrible fate here. And we want to be prepared for that by not having anything with us. By storing all of our stuff here, uh, we'll be able to sort of survive that. Now, the trick here is that we're going to mine all the way down to Y level 11. If you press F3 in the top left corner, you can see your Y level. And you can see we're at Y level 74 right now. Uh, I think we're actually going to dig down in this lower lying area, where that should get us down to 64 or 65, which will be quite a bit easier to dig down in. So yeah, 65 here. So I think this is where we're actually going to uh, go ahead and dig down, and we'll just sort of start by by digging there. Uh, now, since we need to go from 65 to 11, that means we need to travel downward 54 blocks. And we are emptying our inventory because we're going to break sort of the first rule of Minecraft, which is you never dig straight down. But in order to do that, we're going to uh, craft a series of ladders that'll let us get back out. Looks like we need some more sticks. We do have some, some spare planks. Let's go ahead and turn those into sticks. And we need 54 total. So we have 36, 39, 42, 45, 48, 51, 54. Should be the exact right amount. So we'll go with that. Let's go ahead and make three more just in case. Never hurts to have some spares. Go ahead and leave the, the spare sticks behind. We don't really need those. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and take a few of those, a couple of those, a couple more coal, and make some more torches. You'll see, though, that we're traveling with a very light kit. We don't even have uh, food, although we should probably eat up before we start this. Let's. Uh, I think we've actually got some food cooking in our furnaces outside. 
make some torches. Head on out. Now, the reason that you don't want to dig straight down is because you don't know what's underneath you and you don't know where you might end up. It's possible to dig yourself straight into a ravine, for example, and, and fall to your death or, or dig yourself into a pit of lava. We'll leave the rest of our food there in the furnace and just gather that up later. Uh, but what we want to do is make good time going down. In order to do that, we're going to take the ladders, put them in our left hand and put the, uh, the uh, tool we're using to dig in our right. And that's not where I wanted that ladder. That's also not where I wanted that ladder. There we go. I don't know why it's doing this. It's possible that uh, putting the shovel there. That putting the shovel there prevented us from placing a ladder on the side of that block. All right. I think, we, I think we're good. There we go. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to dig down and place ladders as we go. So we press left click to dig and right click to pr place a ladder. We're gonna do this watching that Y meter in the bottom left, we can see we're passing through a coal vein here, that's nice, until we get to Y level 11. Now this will provide us with a nice uh, channel as far down as we want to go. Unfortunately, it's quite risky and if we do dig into a chasm, uh, we may have to uh, do some clever engineering in order to uh, sort of circumvent that and not waste the the, uh, the digging we've done. Since we're going in with a fairly minimal kit, we are taking very little risk here. Looks like we found another uh, coal vein. Let's go ahead and actually dig that out. I'm actually gonna do a couple other things. I'm gonna go ahead and dig across here. I'm gonna leave a torch right there. I'm gonna come on up and do it a little further up, maybe right in the middle of this granite. There we go. Put a torch there as well. And you can see that the ladder is actually controlling our descent. So we aren't actually um, falling when we when we let go. You know, we don't need to sort of manually move down this ladder. It'll sort of uh, control our descent so that we don't uh, fall too far too fast. And that's the real trick for this, is that if we can make it all the way down to Y level 11, at this point, we're not really in danger of fall damage. So I think we're okay. I think even if we, we do enter into a cave, uh, we won't die when we fall. And since uh, lava doesn't spawn below 11, there we go, here we are. Uh, we can use this to sort of, oh, and would you look at that? We've <laughs> we found some diamonds already. That's awesome. Uh, that's wonderful. We'll go ahead and wait to mine those out. Uh, with diamonds, you wanna be tricky because lava can start spawning at Y level 10, which means if we dig down one block, it's possible for us to start seeing lava. Now, this is going to be an antechamber for some, some mining we do, and we can see if we look at the subtitles that there's lava nearby. So we want to be very careful um, as we dig, because it's possible that as we dig out one of these sort of lower level blocks here, that we'll actually dig into lava. And because we're at Y level 11, it won't be a threat to us. Uh, but since that the diamonds that we see there uh, are directly above that, if we dig one of those out and there's lava beneath it, the diamond could fall into lava and be wasted. So we'll go ahead, dig out our ant chamber, and then we'll actually dig out underneath where those diamonds are at, just to confirm that it is safe. Let's go ahead and dig out around them as well. Looks like we have some more on the side. Excellent. So this is a nice, nice rich vein of diamonds. Now our first diamond find, we actually wanted to be, uh, we wanted to be five diamonds because that's what we need to sort of. Uh, improve our efficiency as we as we mine and dig more. So we'll actually hold off after we get our first five, and it looks like there are five here, uh, until we can get some more. So this top one, since we know that a diamond is directly below, we can go ahead and dig that up, and that'll give us the advancement diamonds. For the rest of these, we're gonna go ahead, and since there is stone there, we'll mine that one out. So mine out that stone. We can see that those two both have stone under them, so we can mine those out and that one out, and that one is also more diamonds. <laughs> and breaking my own rule there, I dug out that bottom diamond without seeing what was under it, but I think we're okay. Fill that in, and so now we have this nice uh, mining antechamber. We can go ahead and light this up so that we don't, uh, don't run into any problems here. And then as we start to mine, we'll actually mine out from here. And we're gonna do this uh, using branch mining. That's how we're gonna sort of explore the lower level of the world. I'm gonna start out by digging sort of a central shaft. And I think I'm just gonna move this wall 
straight out along uh, this sort of ne uh, positive z direction or negative z direction uh, in that direction. So as we as we start to go further, we'll just cut out this entire wall, and then we'll dig uh, branching shafts off the sides. And we want to dig those branching shafts every three blocks. And so here we've got some redstone already. That's excellent. And so we'll simply dig uh, in this direction for as long as we like. Usually, you know, 50, 60 blocks, uh, and we'll light up the path with torches as we go. And when we've decided we've gone far enough, we'll cut over three spaces and dig another one. Now, the reason we go three spaces is because uh, if we repeat this, but and would you look at that more, more diamonds? <laughs> what luck! Looks like we've we've come into a, a, a quite literally a diamond mine. This is this is amazing. Uh, the reason we do this is that uh, we can actually, if by using a uh, a space that's seven blocks wide as we have here. Uh, we can actually dig down here two spaces and then start another shaft there and this one you have to be a little more careful because you're below the level where lava can spawn uh, but you can just keep digging in this direction at a lower level just very very carefully at the lower level because you never know what you're going to run into uh, but the, the higher levels will actually be safe for us and we can do the same thing high above so we can dig those out and this is usually how I, I structure these, and I put the torch there in the middle. And so if you look at this, you'll see that all six of these blocks, we actually see. We can see the two blocks on the left from this tunnel. We can see the, the top middle block there from the top tunnel, and the bottom middle block from the bottom tunnel, and the two blocks on the right from the right tunnel. And by repeating this and sort of tiling this all the way along, and then up a layer and down a layer as well, uh, we can actually see every block in the world uh, that could p possibly have diamonds or lapis lazuli or redstone or any other valuable minerals for us. And so that's going to be our strategy as we go forward. We're going to repeat the strategy on the opposing side. So we'll dig sort of this way into these blocks. And we'll go ahead and mine out just as we did on the other side. And mine down like that and that will let us see every block in the world as we go so we can go ahead and light these up just a little bit there always putting torches on the left side as we start new branches so that we can see where we go in this case we have some redstone here so I'm gonna mine that out and then because one of those is actually a torch block we'll go ahead and put it back in and refill it and so that's the going to be the strategy we use for mining. We're actually going to leave those diamonds and any others we find until we start enchanting and can get some tools that'll let us harvest more diamonds per block than we are currently able to. So hopefully we'll be able to get started doing that here very soon. Let's head back up. Now there are a couple more things we can do. And as you can see, it's it's nighttime up at the, the top of this mine shaft, which means we're going to have to make a mad dash for for safety. Uh, we'll want to stow those diamonds before we find ourselves in trouble. And I'm going to make one more quick addition to this mine shaft. And it's one of my favorite things to do. On back up. Looks like a zombie has already spotted us. Let's see if we can't make it back to our house without uh, sort of fighting him off. When you, when you go to fight a monster at night, uh, you'll often find that that gives other monsters the opportunity to spawn, which makes things very dangerous for you. All right, here we go. So the uh, the monster should be burning up in the night. We'll go ahead and store anything that's sort of worth keeping. We'll actually just store everything since we don't really need anything else. Uh, but what I do want to do is I want to take a little bit of the wool we've done uh, and a few of the planks. I think three planks should do it. And make another bed. And then just for fun, uh, let's see if we can't get some more dye and make this bed a different color. I think uh, we've got some yellow dandelions over here. I thought I saw some cornflower earlier. Yes, there we go. Some cornflower. You can see an enderman warping around there in the distance. We won't mess with him just yet. Endermen won't attack you unless you look at them. So if you if you notice one, don't point your camera directly at it. Don't put your, your crosshair right over it, and it won't attack you. It'll just leave you alone. All right, we'll come over here, and we'll go ahead and make some blue dye. We will make a bed and we will make a blue bed and what we're going to do is it looks like our iron pick is just about to break we'll go ahead and get out our stone pick that should work fine for this uh, but we're going to head on over back to our mineshaft 
and we're gonna head back down and place a bed. This will let us sleep down there whenever we want, um, which will be really nice when we look up and we see that it's nighttime. Now, as we descend here, I'm actually, I've taken my hands off the mouse and keyboard. I'm not touching anything, and you can see that the descent is very controlled, and that's just sort of the nature of a mine, or of a ladder. It'll, it'll take us down at a very nice, slow rate. <laughs> All right, folks. Uh, so just wanted to sort of fill you guys in on what happened here. Uh, we, we dug a second mine shaft all the way down, uh, right alongside the first, uh, and then we have put a water block right at the bottom. Uh, now in order to use this, we're going to jump down this mine shaft, but we're going to take our hands off the keyboard as we fall. If we're still moving right as we get to the bottom, we're still trying to run forward. It's possible for us to clip the lip of the, the ground down there and, uh, and meet an untimely end. Uh, but if we if we land in water, we won't actually take fall damage and to demonstrate this So we have our ladder we can use this for sort of a slow controlled descent if we want to be safe But if we're in a little bit more of a hurry We've got this second shaft here and we can just jump in take our hands off the keyboard and we will land in water We've Got a bed down here as well So we can sleep if we need to and eventually we'll set up a furnace and a crafting table and other things down here And really make this sort of a, a nice place for us as we continue to hunt out additional diamonds or um additional redstone, things like that. Uh, so I think that'll do it. I think this will be this will be where we uh, sort of leave the, the episode for today. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you've had a good time. My name is Dakoba, and we will see you soon.